G'day, g'day, how are you? And we're gonna look at an issue with the Rode Wireless Go. Well, I will start off by saying is, I'm not sure if this is an issue, but I have looked online and I can't find any information about it. Recently, I posted up a video, three improvements that I thought would be good for Rode Wireless Go in the future. And I was left a couple of comments. One was from Rode themselves, and that was really cool. So thanks, Rode. It's awesome to know that you're going around looking at how your consumers are finding the product. But there was another comment, which I... But there was another comment which asked me about the charging indicator or the charging status indicators on these devices and whether or not I had noticed if there was an indicator that showed when the charge was complete. And it was an interesting question because I have to admit, yeah, I have charged these quite a few times. Couldn't immediately remember if I had seen any indicator to say the charge was complete. What I had done was I'd looked on the receiver when both of the uh, green bars were full, and when that was the case, I just simply unplugged them, either because I was gonna use them again, or I just wanted to pack them away. And uh, so, yes, I had wondered if, but I hadn't given it too much thought. But of course, when this comment came in, it did give rise to think about it, because the commenter was concerned that if there was no way to tell if it completed charging, there'd be no way, maybe there's no way that this device is stopping itself from taking a charge or going into any other mode like trickle charge, and it could in fact catch fire. So probably a legitimate concern. And so I thought, well, I wonder what's going on here. Before going any further, I will say, if you've got any immediate knowledge or any expertise in this area, then leave the comments down below and let us know what's going on so we can work out what the story is with these devices. Okay, so initially, like I said, I have looked around online and I can't seem to find anything immediately jumping out about either people raising the issue or whether or not it has been an issue. And I also looked in the Rode Wireless Go user manual to see if there was any information in there and didn't seem to be, I couldn't find anything in there. Uh, I have put them back on the charger and left them for about 90 minutes since the green bars were full but you know I, I couldn't see much point in leaving them too much longer I unplugged them I couldn't see that the icons change but first of all let's have a look at the indicators and see what we're dealing with on the road now wireless go devices themselves okay so let's start by bringing in the road wireless go and here they are and both units are powered off we'll start by plugging in the chargers first one into the transmitter here and as you can see in doing that there's now a blue LED has lit up and is flashing intermittently I presume that's indicated it's receiving a charge okay now let's plug in the charger into the receiver which has the screen here and as you can see the screen has lit up it has a battery icon with a lightning bolt through it there's no flashing or anything it just lights up green and that green bar you could see there before it dimmed temporarily show you the battery level or the capacity of the battery. So this is what the charging function looks like when the unit is powered off. Now it never changes from this. So the only thing that does change is on the receiver where you can see the green bar. That fills up and is shown to be full but nothing changes after that. It still shows the lightning bolt continuously. So this blue LED on the transmitter flashes continuously and doesn't stop. And I've left it on for 90 minutes after the green bars were full and nothing changed it continued to flash intermittently. So it was really difficult to tell firstly has the charge complete, secondly is it continuing to take a charge, or three has it maybe changed to another mode such as trickle charging, is there something to stop it from, from overcharging and hard to determine from that. Okay so let's change it up now and we're going to unplug these from the chargers just briefly and now power them on. Okay, so the transmitters, the receiver and the transmitter are both powered up now and you can see there's a connection. Uh, we can see on the uh, transmitter there are two blue LEDs now. The one on the left is to indicate that there is a connection with the receiver and the one on the right is to indicate that, that it is powered on. On the receiver, we can see that it's powered on. The battery level for both the receiver and the transmitter are shown. Okay, I'm gonna plug those charges back in and see what happens. Okay, I've just plugged the charger into the transmitter and we can see that the blue LEDs are still lit, however one is now flashing to indicate it is receiving external power. I'm going to plug into the receiver and the receiver, the main screen lights up momentarily and again, now in the, both the receiver and transmitter icons are showing a lightning bolt. If I take out the receiver, the transmitter shows a lightning bolt, if I take it out of the transmitter, neither shows a lightning bolt if i plug one back into the receiver the receiver now shows a lightning bolt if i plug one back into the transmitter now they both show a lightning bolt so yes they both do show that they're receiving a charge but again in this mode here they just continue to receive the external power there's nothing to suggest that it's going to trickle mode or that there's some sort of capacity guard 
uh, to prevent that voltage or that charge from hitting the battery or overheating it. Okay, so we had a good look there and just to update the original commenter has been in touch with Road about this and did receive a reply which they shared through on my channel on the previous video and it was an email from Brandon from Road and it read as follows. I have gotten in touch with our wireless go team regarding your case. They have told me that currently the lightning symbol flashing LED are indicators that the units are connected to power and will not indicate that the unit is 100% charged. Whether or not the unit is fully charged is determined by the green bar filling up. The reason for this is that the units have a feature of being able to run on external power and this needs a constant indicator to let the end user know that it is currently being powered by an external power source. I hope this information makes sense. Okay, so there we go. That's the reply from Rode. It didn't seem to answer the question. We know the LED or the indicators or the screen doesn't change in any way, but what is happening in the background? Are the devices just continuing to suck in a charge? Will they catch fire? Is it gonna affect the longevity of the devices? What are your thoughts? Are we likely to see a change with this? Or is this something that we should all be aware of now? I'd be interested in your thoughts. Leave them below. If you know of any answers about this anywhere, if you could leave the links for that also below. But thanks for watching and interesting to see what your thoughts are. Have a great day and of course, please subscribe.